Welcome to a new day, a beautiful morning up here in Chiang Rai in the north of Thailand. Right now it's foggy. It is a little bit chilly. I just took off my jacket, but I know there's a lot of warm food waiting. We are here at Satisfaction Curry Noodles. Let's start the new year right with some northern Thai food here at Pa Jai Khao Soi. So Pa Jai means satisfaction. Khao Soi is the northern curry noodles. So Satisfaction Curry Noodles is a pretty epic name for a restaurant, right? So this is the menu they have for takeaway. They make nam. You can go cook it at home. Love the inclusion of so many chilies. We're definitely going to get some of this sight one right here. Let's go inside. Man, you can tell just by her setup that she sells so many dishes of, of Khao Soi every day. You can see it's all like set up to go. Maybe most of the people here are to go. Oh, they have some app grilling over there too. This is awesome. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so Lou is in front. I think I interrupted his breakfast. <laughs> now he's rushing to help us, which is which is pretty cool. Mui Mui Yang, go ahead. Oh, three Yang. Three Yang. So they separate the coconut. So the curry is like so crazy red. You can see like a like a layer of rich oil, red oil on top of the cow soy. Uh, the noodles are also like very faint yellow. I love the look of the crispy noodles though. Oh, uncle is hooking it up. Okay. See you Oh man, in the morning this is just straight up the, the happiest way that you can start the day. Hanging out uh, with, thank you so much, hanging out with just your closest friend or with your whole family. I wish I could show you uh, just about 10 minutes ago what happened. Like this entire area was taken care of by just one person and I heard when they paid the bill it was more than 2,000 baht. And I saw they only had noodles. So they must have ordered like 40 bowls of noodles. So that's why it took us a few minutes to, <laughs> to have a table to sit. But that, that is exactly like the, the building of the feeling that you want when you come into a street food restaurant like this. That is exactly what you want to see. Just like the entire family, the extended family, all going out for morning noodles. It's so cool. So this is a very unique bowl of khao soi. Lee and I, we live in Chiang Mai, so we have, we have khao soi all the time. This, you can see just from the color, right? It is so gentle orange and so thick with the coconut milk. So there is so much of that chili oil on top. But then underneath, it is so rich with the coconut milk. Like, look at that. 
I don't think I've ever seen at the same time such a spicy, oily, but also creamy kalsai. Also a very faintly yellow egg noodle for this for this kalsai. I love the the mu yang. I don't think I've ever had that combo. Sai ua and kalsai for sure, and nam ho. Oh, another dish dear to my heart. This is one set, and then this is like a bonus. Oh yeah, we gotta have this right here. Cap mu. And then this is the necessary addition to this. This is just for fun. We'll save that for a moment. But oh, welcome to Ha Zai Kao Sai in Chiang Rai. Hope you're having a great day. Okay, it has been a great morning already. Woke up cold, went for a two hour bike ride. The perfect preparation to take down round one of today's activities. Gotta try just the broth first. just like it looks, on fire with that chili oil, like really strong chili oil, but then underneath, so, so creamy. It's, that's crazy, it's like a perfect curry, just like that, you could use that curry. You could go and use that as a curry cooking somewhere else. That is spicy, but I just love, I just love the smokiness that comes in this. And you see this also, this pig pao, it is not as oily as some other places. It's more that dry, kind of almost like the Muslim style pao soy pig pao. Yeah, we're going heavy. So reach over here, start to mix. It was already orange, now, now it's red. So once you mix up the khao soy, then you just gotta get into it because the uh, the crunchy fried noodles on top are not gonna be so crunchy if you don't eat them quickly. Mm. Very lean chicken, just white meat. Oh. That is amazing how how tame it looked at first, but how spicy that chili oil is. Mm, mm, mm. Look at the new color we're working with here. May have overdone it, but that's... Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> It's one way you can never feel bad about overdoing it with flavor. Mm. 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 Mustard greens. Mm. No shallots. The lime. And it's awesome tasting it three different times. You know, you taste just the broth, the clean noodles, then you add the chili, taste it again, and then you add all the sourness, and you enjoy the rest of the bowl. It is, it's really awesome having it in stages like that. You can appreciate the whole dish, appreciate each ingredient. Now it is totally mixed up, so the next bites are gonna always include the, the cabbage or the pickled mustard greens, the sourness from the shallots, and then the lime juice, yeah, Northern Thailand just loves the lime juice. Chiang Rai specifically just loves squeezing lime over everything. So it is great to go out. Great to have khao soy all together. Just khao soy is a dish, an amazing dish on its own. And you can add so many other things like these pork cracklings. But the fact that Pot Thai has three, uh, well, this could be a dish on its own. Four other dishes all worth coming here to eat. It's just a place of morning happiness, for sure. Wow, we gotta ask how long they've been here. It's awesome, and there's a whole family working together to serve all the other local families who love restaurants like this. 
you can see from the artwork on the walls, you can see the just so many family photos. You can see they've been here for a long time. It's so cool. While the steam is still coming off these meat items, let's quickly move into the second half. <laughs> Choose your grilled meats. All of these came from the grill. This one is kind of like right on the fire. The site was cased in uh, intestine, but it's still, it's still uh, cooked. You know, it still touches the fire around the edges. But this one, even though it is cooked on the fire, it is encased in a banana leaf. And so it stays so mushy and so moist. Oh, you eat all three of them though with sticky rice. I love all three of these dishes equally. I don't know, but they look equally as attractive. You know what? Site what? It's in the center. Let's go for that. On the side herbs, you just have dill and cilantro. This one is called pak chi foy, and this is just pak chi. Love when you can just see the herbs and see the fat. So in site where there's lemongrass and galangal and just pork fat. Other things, but those are the key. Those are the things you love about it. Mm. <laughs> it's been too long. I think it's probably been a few weeks, but it's been too long. You immediately chase with ginger. I guess just chase with another piece of saiwa. Wow, the pork skin, the pork fat, and then the lemongrass is kicking. You got uh, kaffir lime leaf in there also. I think maybe even shallots in this. The, the chilies are not so much. It's not such a spicy version, but I'm, I've got my chilies from here, so. Oh, it is delicious, wow. Yeah, and then with sticky rice, just carries, just keeps the flavor rolling. Oh. <laughs> well, why don't we try the new dish next? So cool, they have like this, almost looks like an Isan jiao on the side of it. Chiang Rai for being next to Chiang Mai. It has so much similarity actually with Isan. Give it a dip. Mm. Spicy and salty. That is exactly Isan flavor. Oh. You want to just dig in with both hands the whole time. Next up. Nampik Nom. Pik is chili, Nam is water, so like a chili dip. So it is just a handful of chili, and I think there is also eggplant in there, which gives it a lot of texture. You can see all the chili seeds, and the green is from the chilies. You use green chilies, and it's a, again, the type of chili is called a Nom chili. It's a Northern Thai species. Mm. So being full of chilies, it's not actually as spicy as it looks. So if you just see this in a container in front, I still recommend you try it, even if you think, I can't eat just pure chili. No, it is not. It's not a very spicy chili. I'm just eating right out of a can because I'm gonna just eat it all. It's so gentle. It is spicy, but the eggplant tones it down a lot. It's just so smoky and awesome. Definitely not least, Nam. So in the north you have a few different types actually of the banana leaf grilled stuff. This one again is just straight up something that I've seen in Luang Prabang, in the old capital of Lao, which is right that way about four days by bicycle. <laughs> I have done that one before. This is full of pork skin and it looks raw from the pink color, but no, it has been steamed. 
because of that banana leaf, it's basically steam cooked. You can see a beautiful little layer, a row of six colorful chilies on top. Can we take one per bite? Let's see. Some sticky rice, go for a mush. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh yes, perfect. Oh. <laughs> oh, foul. Yeah, that is a gooey, gummy, baby handful of pork fat. Oh, so garlicky, like incredibly garlicky. Mm. Oh. Spicy, there's so much garlic in it. And, uh, the gummy, the ultra soft pork fat. <laughs> the chili is still pretty spicy, but it's still, it cannot compare to that. Okay, you have to be patient and use each finger on its own to make sure you can scoop up some of the skin, some of the nam, a chili, and don't lose any sticky rice on the way. Round and round you go. Every bite with sticky rice, just until you are full and just sweating, sweating with happiness. This, I don't usually drink anything to, to cool down the chilies. I just keep eating until the end of the meal. And actually, rice, I think would be the best. Maybe it's hot, so it feels like it's intense at first, but actually rice would soak up the oils on your tongue the best. But I usually don't drink things. But, but the name of this is just so funny, I just went for it on the menu. It's 15 baht, it's called wheelie coffee. So it's cafe oliang, which is Thai traditional coffee. So it's just black, very strong coffee with a ton of milk. But then it's called yok law, which is a wheelie. I don't, I don't know what that means, so. Maybe it's so sweet, it gives you enough energy that you wanna run outside and start doing wheelies on your bike. I don't know. Strong coffee flavor. Very dark, but very sweet and nice and cold. Yeah, okay. I guess that does cool you down. <laughs> but is that cheating? Maybe. <laughs> Usually just after having all hot food and spicy and then having something so cold, to me it just throws me off. Nose starts running and just I just get thrown off. So I just go with the heat, just ride the wave till the end, and then that's like dessert. A drink is like dessert at the end. Oh, so, I'm gonna continue until this cute little bag of sticky rice is finished. I hope you're having a great day. I hope you have now two, if not, I don't know, if not even four foods on your little to-do list for when you visit the north of Thailand. These foods are not totally unique to Chiang Rai, but they are unique to the north of Thailand. In Chiang Rai, though, you can find different versions, variations like this, definitely like this, that are unique to the town of Chiang Rai, to the capital city of Chiang Rai. All over the north, you'll find these, these recipes, but it's up to you to find your own favorite version or just the flavors, the way that you like it, you know, your favorite recipe. And Paul Chai, they do have a beautiful, beautiful Khao Soi. It is a mission to finish this. But in between breaths, I'm just looking around, really appreciating the artwork that they have collected in this room. It is very cool, some beautiful works of art. I see some of the myths or legends of Thai culture that I recognize. Lahu Om Jan, which is uh, the giant Lahu eating the moon. It's such a cool story. Anyways, there, I see several paintings of that. Chiang Rai has some beautiful temples, actually three very famous temples. One, uh, one of them is a museum, but it looks like a temple. So it's called the Black Temple, the White Temple, and there's also the Blue Temple. You can take these as a tour. Yesterday, we visited that Black Museum, very beautiful. And so now I'm still in like the appreciation mode for Thai art, just like all of this. Another thing I want to point out, here in Chiang Rai, even if maybe the maybe the meat items, they do seem to be the same price as what I recognize in Chiang Mai, as what I'm used to seeing in Chiang Mai. The staples, like rice or like noodles, they're way cheaper. So I love to see that rice here is still five baht. They could easily charge 10 baht for that kind of thing everywhere. I mean, some places even charge 20 baht for rice nowadays, but so to see like 
bananas. We got a whole fan of bananas yesterday for 20 baht. Big, big bananas. So cool to see stuff like that and so cool to feel like even though we are in a city, uh, it still feels kind of like the countryside or kind of like a little bit old fashioned. And so I live in Chiang Mai and I love Chiang Mai. It's very convenient, but sometimes it, it is getting to be a big city and you feel it sometimes. So Chiang Rai still has that small town feel and you can walk. Another amazing thing, you can walk all around the downtown of Chiang Rai and Chiang Mai is just, it's just getting bigger and bigger. It's kind of hard to walk nowadays from place to place. So, those are many reasons that I'm just recommending to you. Things that you might love about Chiang Rai, things that I'm appreciating on this trip. It's been a while since I've been here, and this is a great trip. Uh, another thing, yesterday we had Pad Thai. I had it for the first time in a long time, definitely the first time ever on, on camera. That also was so cool, huge portion for just 45 baht. That was a fun video to make too. Oh man. Uh, so today is the last day, but I wish we were going to stay. There's so much more to do in Chiang Rai, so I hope you have a little fire burning inside you to explore Chiang Rai as well. I definitely have it. Oh yeah, and starting out with Pu Chi Fa, just so, ah, so many things to recommend, but so much more still left to do. I hope you are having a beautiful day today. I hope you are intrigued by Chiang Rai right here along with me. Hope you're having a beautiful start to 2022. Much love. Have a great day. Peace.